Hey there, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to sort JavaScript arrays, be they arrays of strings, arrays of numbers, or arrays of objects. Okay, so getting started, if I set up an array of strings, uh, let's call it strings. And now we put in some random ones we use. Bravo, verse, and then hub. Alpha, Delta, and lastly, Charlie. So we can just sort this easily if I print out the console. We can just use a string. Console.log strings dot sort. So if I run it, run this up now, we'll see what that pushes out. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta. So it's been sorted properly. If we want it in reverse order, we can simply add say the end of that reverse. And then we can see it's printed out Delta, Charlie, Bravo, and Alpha. So it's super easy how we can do that with an array of strings. So say if we want to try with numbers, so let nums is equal to three, and they can be integers or decimal values. So 2.25, 1.0. So if we console.log and sort that, let's have a look what we get out. that and I'll comment and want the strings out. If we run that we can see we get an out 1, 2.2, 3 and 5. So that's been sorted fine. So if we went in reverse order we could just say to reverse run that we got 5, 3, 2.2 and 1 out. Easy enough. But we can also if I get rid of the reverse method call on the end feed in our values here. So uh, feed in a function, sorry. So we put a, b, and that goes to, and we run it in um, descending order, we can say b minus a. So when I run that out, you can see again we're getting 5, 3, 2.2, .2 and 1. So that's descending order. Ascending order would be a minus b. And that works that way. Simple. So I'll comment that line out. And say if we set up a class uh, called container, uh, give it a constructor where we can feed in our values. Constructor val can go in and we'll just give it a property called val and assign it that value. So how would we sort this container object? We can simply say, uh, well, set our array first. Containers equal to an array of new, let's just capitalize the class name. New container, and we'll have first a value, a container object with a value of three. We'll have one with a value of one. one with a value of five. Okay. So we can sort that by feeding in another function into our sort method. So first of all we're going to print this out. Print out containers dot source. Be that quickly. And we're going to sort by a and B getting fed in, lambda expression, and we'll have B dot val minus A dot val. So similar to what we did with numbers. I'm gonna close the bracket there. If I run that up, you can see an array of three containers, and they sorted by the val property 
in ascending order. So we've got our three containers. First one's got a value of five, second one's got a value of three, and the third one's got a value of one. That's the descending order. And we can swap that to the ascending order just by having it the other way around. So it's a dot of r minus b dot of r. So I run that up. We've got three containers. And here we have first container with a value of one, second container with a value of three, and third container with a value of five. Okay, so we can also do this without using the lambda or arrow functions. Um, so I'll take this back to the start again. I'll comment that out. And we go back up to our strings. Can use lambda functions there. The nums one. So here we've got this as it is now. If I clear out our console, I run that again. You see we've got it in ascending order. 1, 2.2, 3, and 5. Here it is using the lambda. If I just change this, so it's function with a and b as the parameters, and we just want it to return a minus b. Not quite like that, but like that. And we run that. Missing course. So we just fix that up. Run that, and you can see we get the same thing. So it's back, so we can compare the difference. Okay, so there's our sort using the lambda or arrow function. Now we just have it as a traditional function. So that's for the ascending order. If we want it in descending, it would just be the other way around. So B minus A, B minus A. Take those out. Clear our console, run it up, and we see we're getting the same thing. So I would do that using the traditional functions. Comment those out. Now, if we go back down to our container one. You can see that containers, new container three, new container one, new container two, uh, five. If I sort of log, run that again, what do we get? We get three containers, one, three, and five, again, in ascending order. If I write that in a traditional way, so we have containers dot sort. One internal sort, we have a function a and b as parameters, and as a result of that, we want to return a dot val minus b dot val. So comment that out, and that up again, and we should be getting the same thing. One, three, and five for our property values there. So I'm going to do it the other way around. So go back up to this one. If we want it in descending order, we have b dot var minus a dot var. Run that. And down here we see in all three containers in an array with the values five. 3 and 1 in order, so the center order that's worked. We'd have that using traditional function by comment that out now. There's a sort function ab, we're returning a dot val minus b dot val. If I run that, what do we see? We see three containers. We can swap those around. So b minus a for descending. If we run that we should get 5, 3, 1 and there it is. So those two are equivalent. So I hope that's been helpful. That's just quickly how you can sort arrays of objects as well as numbers and strings in JavaScript.